The camping equipment is exhausting to carry. At least it is for someone like me. Someone unaccustomed to treks deep within the woods. Sometimes you have to get away though. Get away where no one will think to look for you. I came here for that reason. My boyfriend wouldn't think I dare to go camping on my own in the middle of the woods. He's not a bad guy or anything, it's just, well, we've just moved in together and he has trouble understanding the concept of space. Plus, tonight is the full moon and I'm a Cancerian. The moon affects me, not always in a good way. When I've been walking for close to three hours, I set up my camp on a grassy patch near the river. It's a good place, a place that I can rest. My reflection in the river is the only human that I've seen in hours. Sure, there are other animals around. I've even seen a couple of wolves already. <laughs> Who knows, maybe later they'll even keep me company. After my camp has been set up, I drag my little camping stool over to the river and I watch the water go by. I am relaxed as it's possible for me to be. When the sun slides to bed, it starts to rain. So I go into the tent. It's cosy, even more so when I begin reading on my Kindle. I'm several chapters in when I hear the thump on my tent. At first I figure something fell from a tree. When it happens again, I poke my head out of the tent and see two stones. Still, I don't think much of it. It isn't that strange of a thing. I zip the tent up and continue reading. Then I hear the footsteps. Soft and quiet. Just about audible in the rain. My eyes freeze in the screen. My heart gives sound to my fear. The footsteps come closer. I tell myself that it has to be an animal. It must be an animal. Then something wallops against the tent. Whatever it is leaves a dark smudge on the fabric. My eyes rove around the tent, seeking something to use as a weapon. My pocket knife is in my rucksack. I yank it out and flip out the blade. Only then do I dare to look outside. A mangled animal covered in blood caked fur is at the base of the tent. I bolt back inside. A laugh, deep and menacing sounds. My hands are sweaty and the knife's handle. I let it drop. My hands pat the ground searching. Then I see the shadow outside the tent, a shadow holding a knife. There is no shadow without light. The moon has risen. My transition is swift, nothing like how it's portrayed in the movies. One moment I'm an average woman of average height, the next I'm a werewolf. The figure knocks in the tent. Little pig, little pig, come out to play. I do. Normally I don't kill. I don't give in to my urges. That's why I'm here all alone in the woods. Tonight, however, I make an exception 